producing fun and challenging entertainment since 2013 and still going strong. You are watching Sim World Game Vision. We are your home for all things simulation. Now, coming at you from the Sim World Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, this is Sim World Live with your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. Take it away, Nathaniel. Hey everybody and welcome to it. It is uh, my Friday, your Tuesday, and welcome to Several Live here. Uh, it's just a little after the uh, top of the hour here, and uh, I do say we're going to have some fun today. Uh, weather-wise, it's been a uh, crazy last 48 hours. Uh, when you kind of look at it, two days ago we had about five inches of snow on the ground. Yesterday we had a temperature near 65 degrees. And today, we have ice on the ground, and it's down near about 10 degrees, and getting colder. I don't know what Mother Nature is doing. I don't know where she belongs right now, but I can say she's a crazy little lady. <laughs> Welcome to it. Yes, uh, we are going to get, like I said, uh, working on our um, 2002 Nissan 350Z. Uh, we're going to be working on rebuilding that. So that's our plan for today. Uh, we are also going to be, you know, getting it primed for going back on the auction block. Uh, there has been a patch update um, since the last time we did uh, Carmack that does involve us having a lot more variety of vehicles found on the auction block. And then a variety of uh, vehicles found in the junkyard. So, uh, as you know, we're getting ready to uh, go into our fourth round of modern and clunker vehicles uh, to do for restoration and rebuild. Uh, which is, I love doing this project since we started on it. Um, so, having some more, you know, more vehicle opportunities um, is a really great thing for us. So, that'll be pretty fun. And don't forget, because of yesterday's... Um, news that I kind of gave you um, on the absence on Sunday's broadcast uh, this past uh, weekend for you guys, um, which is basically my Wednesday. Um, Police Simulator Patrol Officers Episode 2 uh, will be on with us uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, which is my, you know, my weekend and everything, um, my Saturday uh, but your Wednesday, and uh, we'll be doing stream readers with that. Now, I did find out the um, there's a little hair glowing in the light that's bothering my vision there. Um, but the event that uh, started on Sunday is still continuing on, which is you know a good thing. But I looked into more of this. Uh, last night, and it's more like a community versus community event. Um, this is what they're promoting for, like, uh, giving uh, gifts and, uh, like, you know, swag and stuff like that. That's a community versus community. And I was thinking, well, when you when you pit us, uh, our community, uh, SimWorld, versus, let's say, another one that I know does stream raiders, such as Raj and Army of We All Play Cast, uh, they're going to win definitely because they got a stronger audience and stronger, you know, beefed up army. And then you got me and it's like, oh, gee, which side do I, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think we're going to be able to do the versus event. I know it feels bad, man. I, I, I mean, it really does. It does feel bad, but we will be able to continue on with the Olympiad event. So that's something to kind of look forward to on tomorrow. But meanwhile, uh, I do have some insiders and Team Sim World members uh, in the distance tonight uh, or today uh, watching the channel. Uh, they not may totally active, but they are here. Reasons behind that is OBS has got a new update last night, and I really want to trust them. But at the same time, I'm thinking they rushed it again. But I could be wrong. So uh, they're watching for any drop frames. They're going to be drop, uh, rock, watching for any um, issues that involving uh, the gaming rig or the broadcasting rig freezing up. So whatever they see, uh, they'll, of course, let me know uh, in various forms, I'm assuming. Because um, I got my IFV hot for uh, hearing anything on Discord. So... With that said, uh, let's go ahead and get uh, 
Steam up over here. We'll go ahead and get that loaded up. And then, of course, over here on the rig for broadcasts, uh, we'll get pretzel up. I think today, as far as music, I know we did. Uh, we were trying to do EDM yesterday uh, when we realized that uh, Surviving Mars has its own. Um, what do we say if we do uh, EDM again for uh, the first part of the show? And then after our halftime break, we'll switch over to Synthwave. So let me um, get set up here. And uh, we'll kind of see what happens with that. All right. Turn that on. Get this on. Get that on. Switch over to game scene. And then do that. And I think we're on the car on the bottom again. So we'll go with that. Yeah. Um, I already read the notes on this. It's pretty cool. Like I said, just some extra new vehicles. And, uh, yeah, pretty chill day. <laughs> chill. Cold outside. Like I said, I don't know what Mother Nature's plan is. Now, one thing I do have to say about weather is we are about oh, a little under a week uh, away from our meteorological spring uh, starting because that starts on May, March 1st, even though, you know, the astrological spring doesn't start till like the 20th of March, um, which also reminds me I need to get with Susan and uh, put together some uh, severe weather opens and closes um, for Stormwatch Termax 3D. All right. Well, that's loading up. Um, I need to find my, I think this is the notebook. There has, okay, this will work. I need to transfer it over to that new notebook. But I do have the round of uh, our vehicles that we needed to uh, transfer over. All the vehicles that we've done from round one to our current round. Okay, so there is our stripped down version of the uh, Nissan. Um, now, when I was taking this about uh, apart, um, about two episodes ago, I think that's when we uh, started to take this all apart, both vehicles, um, including the one that we finished on the last episode. The, I was really, really sorely disappointed with our previous owner because uh, a vehicle that's not more than 20 years old already had significant amount of rust on it. And I was really kind of peeved off on it. So hopefully whoever we sell this off to at, on the auction um, will treat this, you know, in fair respect and everything. So. Um, as far as everything with the vehicle, we have already taken the engine block out. Um, uh, we pretty much gutted the interior, as you can tell. We gutted the, um, all the accessories and all that good stuff. So, 
What we want to do is we start with, of course, as we always do, is the engine block. So, um, yeah, we actually found this modern vehicle um, in the, um, it was in a barn. It wasn't actually on the auction block. Usually we get our modern ones from the auction, but we didn't. And uh, so, all right. So, seeing that we only have one engine, um, let's go ahead and write that engine block info down. You know, I mentioned I was going to do this yesterday. Why don't you listen to all the music for a second? I'm going to, um, I'll just do it this way, insiders. Um, I need a sharpened pencil. I'll be right back. All right, uh, we're back from sharpening pencils and not deafening you, but more deafening me. All right, this is a V6 uh, D8, uh, D0HC. Uh, Nissan, which, of course, that's what this engine is. Okay. Um, factory three. Well, we'll look at the uh, factory and all the measured stuff when we um, do all that stuff before we sell it today. All right. So what I want to do is, of course, head back in here and we need to Start with a new engine block. And let's see what we can find. I guess Q and E don't work on that. Okay. Uh, V6. There we go. Now remember, we're going to use power uh, objects today, or power um, performance pieces. Let's take a look at our shopping list here. Make sure it's clear. All right, is there anything else we can add on to this while we're kind of have that mode open? Isn't there a hotkey? Um, X, okay. Like I was telling you guys, uh, what was it, yesterday, that I have so many games that I play that I tend to forget what my keybinds are. So, if I say, like, well, what's my keybind? Well, that's the reason. All right. So, let's go to the tablet. Um, I suspect... that the shopping for the engine block won't be in here. Yeah. It's going to be 
a standard object, so. There's the engine block. We'll clear the search on that, and then I'll clear that from the list. And then, as far as the fuel filter, let's try the, t the performance shot before we... Alright, that increases it almost about... Oh... I don't want to say 80%, but it kind of does increase it by 80%. By the way, I forgot to check before we started, and I usually do this. Okay, this one could be sold. That was from the vehicle from last ep uh, last week. Or not last week, but the uh, last episode. Alright, so let's go ahead. So, now let's start writing things in here, what we need. We need a crankshaft, power steering pump, that's the same thing that we just looked at, right? Yeah. Be sure there's nothing yet. I don't think that stuff will come in until we get all that in. Okay. Uh, I suspect both of those will be in the main shop, but let me double check. Uh, especially just this. Okay. This one, I like it. It's a 100% increase as far as performance. So the power steering pump we got, um, the crankshaft will have to come from the main shop. Clear that. Let me do a posture check. Might as well do a hydration check too. That's one thing I will definitely have um, if we ever become affiliate. Um, some hydration points and posture points on the um, on the thing, just to kind of remind me, hey, take care of yourself. We want our guru to be taken care of. Okay. There's that. Now let's put our bolts in on that one. Fuel filter, and then the crankshaft. Okay. All right. Um, can we turn this over? I know we can. Three, four, five, six, because it's six to V6. Um, might as well pick up the flywheel since that's on the uh, shopping list, too. 
Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Flywheel, I know we'll be in a main shop. I'll get it. I get it. It happens. What's the uh, saying that Bob Ross always says? We don't have uh, mistakes. We just have happy a happy accidents. Well, it's not a happy accident if you buy something that's like $3,000 that you really didn't need to spend on. I'm not sure if this is going to be the main shop. I suspect there'll be one in the tuna performance shop. But I could be wrong. Okay. Oh, look at that. 113% better than the main shop one. Yeah. Okay, we need six. That's a pretty penny. Remember, like I said, buy smart, shop smart. Ah, piston rings. Okay. Um, I, sus I suspect that we probably won't be able to get the piston rings in this shop. Nope. Main shop. Let's see, six for the number of valves that we need. And then we'll do that and that. Now this drops in our first piston. How are we doing, uh, Insiders? Team Sim World, we're doing good. No drop frames. That's a good sign. That is a real good sign. Okay, so now we need... Is these two different engine heads? Oh, yeah, they are. Hold on. Head B, head A. And then, is that the same? Okay, that's together. I thought I did the flywheel. Got it. And then a clutch plate. Yeah, I know. I'm not thinking. Okay. Let's go over to the performance shop. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Super, uh, supercharged, uh, engine head. And of course the price. Okay, that was B. And then the clutch plate. Um, that will come from the main shop.
All right, so then we want to do... I'm still in that mode. There we go. Um, mounting. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Can I say something? This looks really off. Why would you do six valves? Well, three valves on this side. But you get six screws, and it looks so uneven without having screws on the right. Is that just me? Is that just like my alignment thinking not being there? This one doesn't look as bad as it did that one. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay. I think most of this the manifolds and a spark plug. I think it come from the performance uh, shot. Start with those. That's a 400% increase in performance with this exhaust manifold. Oh, speaking of that, um, those that are interested. Um, my dad actually managed to make it down to his uh, uh, garage uh, on Sunday. And, uh, he didn't go down into the repair area, you know, where the garage, garage is, but in the offices area that he went to. And, uh, of course, as you know, I, I wasn't there, but it was, uh, he, the, the joy that he had on his face. Um, he wasn't really that much in pain, but he loved being back there. So this is a good sign. I asked if he actually walked down into the garage where he does his work. And uh, no, he didn't go down there. So it's hopeful. It is hopeful that uh, maybe something will... Let's say turn a uh, better leaf on him getting better.
You know what I just realized? This camera is a little off. Um, no, not seeing anything other than me. I would think maybe the part of the away from the key would be showing, but it isn't. Oh, I must have kicked it yesterday, and I just now noticing that. Um, okay, four percent. So we got that done on the exhaust manifolds. Let's see if we can find anything on the intakes there, though. Yeah, having them show up back at the office, um, you know, back to the garage was good news. Okay, intake... Um, cannot be found in performance, so we got to go to the main shop for that. Uh, That's okay. I, it's, the, the instinct in me is I hit the X key. Thinking it's at the top of the list and it isn't. Okay, I noticed spark plugs can be found in the performance area. So let's get those. Count for those to be done. Now you can click on this. Yes. Um... Rest has got to be definitely in the main shop. And then the pressure plate for the clutch. Okay, and I know there's one thing else because we messed up. We'll find it. The camshaft, that's it. Shop. Instrumental. So far, yes. I don't have a thing coming up in chat anymore. Because of, uh, I just don't want to spam the chat with that. So far, it's instrumental, so I'd say, yeah.
I thought we already picked it up. Rock or R&B? Looks like something you probably do on a 3D printer. I did that again? Are you kidding me? Or is this... I want to see if any of these are in a performance. Just some of these, I think, would let a check. Get that rail or the uh, rocker arm in first. Finally. Oops, hold on. We got more things for this. Did I need those exact same things over here? I think so. Yeah, it's the same one, Arme.
We wait on doing that one. Okay, did we... You know what we were doing? We picked up... We put those parts here on that one. That's no big deal. It's no big deal. One, two, three, four. And then what I want to do is go through. Get another set of the caps. Okay, head cover A, head cover B, and then I think we did also pick this up, the time cover. Of course, one of another one. I tend to forget that, that you had, uh, in most cases, two of everything. Okay. So let's see, want to go through, oh boy, I didn't realize there was that much behind that we still have to grab. Okay. Water pump, no. Alternator, yes. Buy it. Alternator clear, fuel rail, go ahead and buy that. Uh, as far as these gears, I'm assuming they're going to be in the main shop. They are. I just want to make sure everything is in the main shop before I switch over there. A lot of pieces being put on. I totally get it. Yeah, sometimes you get lost track of where you are.
Okay, we need a little belt. Okay. All right, got that. I already called up on that. And I call up on that. Okay. I think we're getting close. I'm getting the engine block done. Coils I know will come from in here. How many was that? Six? Yeah. So we'll use that, and then an intake manifold, um, again that's going to be over in the other shop. I think all that rest is going to be in the main shop. Yeah, that really shiny aluminum kind of hurts your eyes after a while. Kind of got to, you know, reset your vision. Okay. Let's see. The two throttle pieces for the top. And uh, the belt. Okay. I think the belt's going to be in here. Or the timing chain. Let me see. Because, you know, that, that seems like a performance piece to me. Because you want to have your engine timed right, right? Okay, so, okay. I was, I was kind of right, but not right. I know what I just did. You don't need to tell me, chat. <laughs> like I said, if the if the items, that's okay. It all works out. This seems like a um, 
queerest folk soundtrack item. I know it isn't. Just has that vibe though. And I'm talking about the one from the early 2000s, not the recent one. I haven't seen that one yet. All right. Um, I want to look up. Did I buy it in here? Oh, did I buy it in the wrong spot? Luckily, it wasn't too much of a expense. Connect the dots, la 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 la. <laughs> it's what it's like. It's what it's like.
Let me see if that's in the other one real quick. Well, guys, it's official, even though I'm not doing it this year. Um, let me get the uh, official details. It's just been announced while we're live here on the air. Um, TwitchCon of this year is back. Um, Amsterdam... It has been announced for July 16th and 17th. And for here in the United States, San Diego, October 7th and 9th, um, or 7th to the 9th. Uh, so it's a two-day event in Amsterdam. It's a uh, two-day event, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Well, almost like three-day event in San Diego. Um... Here, let me go to our, let's go to the website. Give me a second. I'll pull it up here live on the air. Uh, it's too early to, for me, I'm, I, I don't, I wouldn't say it's too early for me to go to TwitchCon. Um, because I would still have to, like, think about financial stuff. Um, next year, Definitely, I'll do something. Um, if it's a possibility. Um, all right, here, let's take a look at their site. So, for those here in the United States, so you can go ahead and start booking your hotel. Um, again, same dates I just told you. Um, it is going to be at RAI Amsterdam for those folks going into the one overseas. So they're calling all different people to get ready. And um, they're wanting everybody, listen to carefully here, don't start buying stuff yet. You are required to have vaccination records. So whether you do Amsterdam or San Diego, make sure you have your your full records on hand. So keep that in mind. And that's what, you know, to be expected. 
So, um, I'm curious. Not that I'm doing it this year. Doesn't say the Pacific uh, hotels that are doing it this time. Um, I'm assuming they kind of did what they did in 2020 when we were trying to do this uh, idea before. Is they uh, booked up like several different hotels? They're doing Hard Rock Hotel. They're doing a Hilton, which is um, not far from the attendance center. I'm trying to see if the one that I uh, was going for back in 2020, um, Well, the two that I had planned, um, not the one that I uh, had chosen later, but the two that I had kind of my ideas on, um, they're shown in the list here, but the one is unavailable, which is a surprise. Yeah, probably, like I said, uh, since it costs a lot to get down there and all that stuff. And, you know, it's what, now March? It would take an arm and a leg to do a huge uh, fundraising campaign again, like we did in 2020. Um, if I know the dates, and if we're doing San Diego next year in 23... Then I'll go ahead and start planning, financially planning, and getting ready. And also, I'll know uh, in the next uh, couple of days what's going to happen for SimWorld if we're going to hyperdrive or what our plan is. And uh, we could plan from that. That's not like a good plan. Because like I said, one of those things I did talk about, um, and it's one of our campaign pieces uh, for the Insider, if you go out to TwitchCon, and I'm going there too, uh, then of course, like I said, you get a paid round of drinks and a, uh, a really good meal on me. Um, but I can promise you guys right now, just looking at this news that just came out uh, not more than an hour ago, uh, odds of me going out this year are no. I'm sorry to say that. Maybe if something happens in Kansas City, but as far as down in California, no. It's just too much to plan, financially get ready and for and all that. It would take a huge arm and leg. So, uh, no, I'm not doing TwitchCon. So, sorry to hear that. Um, i passing that news. But I kind of said it would depend on how circumstances go when things return. So, yeah. And don't get me wrong, I do want to do this. I planned it two years ago. We, I mean, we had all the money. We were ready to... I mean, we had already booked everything. And, uh, well, you all know what happened. I don't need to talk about the history. So, let's just give it one more year, and then I'll return. And planning on all of that. But to everybody that goes, uh, I wish you the best of luck. I'll spend, I'll send you guys uh, digital spirits. Um, 
And you know what we could do in the interim? Uh, my staff is probably cringing here and listen from the uh, Discord side saying, please don't talk about this yet. Because <sighs> I have yet to confirm it. But I could. This year, maybe, do a digital marathon Don't ask me how. It's very early in the planning stages, but something I could pull off, maybe. In place for those people that are not able to go. Okay, so you're good to uh, be put in. All right. Alrighty, we've got a bunch of stuff that we need to do. Um, I've got to think here what I want to do here for a second. We've already put the engine block in. So, since we do have contingencies with some things that go on with the drive shaft, in a gearbox. I don't want to put those in until at least the very end. Um, I do want to put in the stuff that goes in the hood right now. You know, all the various things like the uh, um, various fluid um, containers. <laughs> Sorry, drawn a blank there. Um, put those in. Get those, you know, set up. And then what we'll do is we'll start going underneath and doing like um, like the gas tank in the back, all of your suspension stuff um, in the back as well as the front. The frame that goes with the front and then we'll figure out the tires you know we'll probably spend a little time trying to figure out what would look good for tires we'll look up on the internet on a couple of the photos options for this vehicle type and then we'll tie in the drive shaft and a gearbox and then that should be the underneath and then we'll start working on the top and the front, which honestly, um, top, front, inside, and that should really be going uh, rather fast. So, okay. <sighs> That's a bunch of stuff we got to put together. Uh, first of all, do I have... No, not that. Good. All right. Yeah, don't worry about the stuff that goes behind the vehicle. Or, you know, underneath until later. Okay. But yeah, pretty exciting news, regardless. 
Um, and you know what's so funny is that I have a uh, Hilton rewards program I signed up for in 2020. Um, yeah, can't do anything this year. I know, I keep thinking, well, maybe I could, but no, it's, it would just be too expensive, especially seeing some of those prices. And that's just the room. I would have to think about food options. I'd have to think about getting there. I'd have to think, you know, there's going to be admission for the price. I'll be curious to see what the prices are when the announcements are rolling out later down the road, especially over summer. All right. Um, let's go. Performance. Let's see what we got here. Okay, some of that's going to be the electronic shop, not performance. Okay, that's going to be pretty much all the rest in this shop. It's like there's hair. Um, you can't, I, I, I never wrote kind of realize it when I, you know, just doing normal stuff, but when I have these hot lights on me, um, I can make out, like, little pieces of hair. <laughs> and it's like, it drives me nuts. Okay, ready? Yeah. The second I already had uh, picked it up, and that was something else. So. Okay. Electronics barks. Yeah. No, I'll get it. it. Just cost me a little bit of a penny. I already got a fuse box. Hold on, let me do this. The icons should be a little bit different. Okay, we already bought this.
No, oh, I had two power. Okay, I must have picked up an extra. Okay. Okay, there's a couple things we need to pick up still. Let me see the list. Electronics, performance. So that's where we're heading for those two shops. Stop here by performance first. Need an air filter. And then before we go over to the uh, electronic shop, we want to stop here. Oh, that's probably an electronics piece. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it is. There's our black box for the vehicle. Okay, three type B. All right. All right, I need five type C's. Two type A's. And the three type B's. And then of course one of these. Okay, something's missing. Fuse box stuff. Okay. Okay, and then the cover. I don't know if those will be found in here or they'll be found in the other one. This one will be found here. Okay. Hmm. 
And that's going to be found in the normal main shot. Looking good so far. All right. Yep, you'll need those darn paper clip things. Clips A and B or something like that. Can I uh, zoom in on that? Thanks. A. 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 Okay. The only thing left inside the hood here is like all the fluids. Do we want to do that now or do we want to wait till the end? I think we should wait. Let's work underneath. Let's lift her up and. Uh, Work on all the stuff that's uh, like the suspension and the cross member stuff. Um, we'll do that. And then we'll work on the far back end suspension stuff. And then once we know 150% sure that we don't need to pull out the engine block again, then we can put the drive shaft in and the exhaust and hook everything up. But I think as far as the engine, it's ready. Except for the fluids, which, like I said, still need to be accounted for. All right. Uh, well, do the tires and the rims for just a few minutes. Because we probably have two different sizes. I'm just guessing. Modern vehicles, you kind of do have two sizes. One for the mo uh, front, and then one for the back. So, we'll kind of see how it, uh, how it plays out. Okay. Nothing in my that. That's empty. Okay, so now let's get into work on the uh, suspension stuff. And we all know what that involves. The knuckles, the tie rods, all that good stuff. We'll start with the cross member. Uh, let's see, I see something that we might be able to grab. The uh, sway bar, that'd be great.
Ah, we're going to need the, um, I know the name of them, but I can't think of what they're called. The, uh, rubber pieces. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of those. I cannot think of the name of them. Rubber machines. I know it'd get the name. I know it would get the name. I know it was a rubber something. Um, let's get ourselves a set. We're going to need a lot of them for various pieces. Um, let's get a set of a dozen on both. And I'll be surprised if I need more than a dozen on both. Now, I don't try to think when I'll need. Okay, so none of those go in performance. Those are just the general. Okay. See if I can do a um, spin around here. Well, kind of did my best. As you may not know, I'm trying to make it so I don't even have to get out of the mode that I'm in. And I'm just rotating different ways to go from one side of the vehicle to the other. All right, there's the sway bar. Okay, now... All right, we need our steering rack. Um, I'm trying to think of that's it. Here we do one more. Fling around the system. Okay. Uh, yeah. Looks like the only thing we're getting into now. Is the knuckle for the steering. I know. I'm a little, I'm not lazy. I'm, I'm being, what, what's the one to say? Acrobatic? Okay, 
now I'll get out of the whole mode. <laughs> I know, I could have just gone from here, walked over, and then, yeah, but, no, I'm crazy, and, yeah. Alright, steering rack. And then the knuckle. I need two of those. All right. I don't remember using these. Must be a long time since I've used Absorber A's. I'm looking at our vehicles that we had. Um, I might have. No. I don't think we used one on the Lamborghini. No, I, we, I don't know. I remember using the Absorber A somewhere else. And it might have been before we started the modern and um, clock restoration project stuff. Oop, I need another one. This is the one I have to wishbone. Okay. I'll do that in a second. Oh, gee. I wonder why I bought a dozen rubber bushings knowing that I think I would have to do something like this. See, I was smart. I was smart. I said I'm going to probably need a dozen. For a reason. Somewhere along the line. Yeah, see, I've got to get the stuff for that. Which involves, um... I've got to look at what it involves. Let's go to the other side and do some of that work for a minute. And then we'll go check out that wishbone thing. I could do this suspension arm. 
Because I ironically, have, like I said, have plenty of rubber bushings. Okay, let's go figure this out. Uh, there you are. I see you over there in the corner. Okay, you need a front spring. Okay. I'm going to write this down real quickly. Times two. And an absorber cap, too. We'll get two of those. All right. Got that done. Did I ever get one of those? Nope, okay. I may have put it on the shopping list, but I took it off.
Okay, break stuff. Easy. I know that stuff easily on the back of my end. Um, I want to get the uh, break stuff from the performance area because, like I said, you're going to have a better, uh, better thing for us. Um, since we need a ventilated disc, um, for the best value, I'm going to definitely give you the 480. So, I don't know what the rear tires are going to be like, so I can go ahead and do that for you. And... As far as the rest of the stuff that goes with it, you can get that from the main shop. Which involve the brake caliper. Actually, I need another one of those. Two caliper cylinders. Um, two brake pads. And that's it for the, uh, for the back, for the, um, front, front, um, brain fart, front, <laughs> front brakes. So, yeah. Now, remember when I said it was going to take, we're going to, we're going to take some time working on the, the tires and rims, and we're about three minutes away from that. Let's see the vehicle here. Yep, two different tire sizes. We've got 225 45R18. And then 245, 45R18. Okay. I'm ready to do, do a little shopping for car or tires now. All right. Let's go to the web. Let's go to the web. Punch up some images and Google images for the 2002 Nissan 350Z. See what kind of tires we're looking at. Um, looks a little bit like race tires in some circumstances. Um, one consistent thing I can see across these three rows of images is the rims are pretty much, um, all one. So that shouldn't be a hard thing to, 
hard to find. I don't know if we'll put spoilers on the back. It boosts up the the auction value. Okay. All right. Uh, what's this say? Race tire. Uh, pretty clean. Let's see. We will need four tires, of course. Well, hold on. We're going to have to do two sets. Okay. The width has got to be 225. Profile's got to go down, though. What's the size in this? Okay. I got my numbers right, don't I? Two twenty five, forty five R eighteen. Forty five R eighteen, two forty five. Then why can I not? Is it because it has to be a standard tire and it's not a race tire? Okay. Maybe that's the case. No. Even on width on that. Okay. Maybe we... Okay. Alright. Now I see what I did wrong. I needed to move this up first to 18. This to 225. And then the profile over to 45. Okay. And then... Two. The size has got to go back to 18. Two forty-five. And this up to 45 for the profile. Okay. Now, even though, yes, we already kind of have a rim style already given on the profile of the vehicle. Um, what did they say it was? Just because I want to compare it to what I seen on Google just a bit ago. Modern O2. This one. Uh, let me go to check on Google on that. Could have chosen a larger image, Nathaniel. That would have been great. Let's go over here to Google and I'll 
I'll do that. Let's go with this one. Die cost, mortal. That's not gonna. That is not even the right one. That thing's got, um... One, two... Three, four, five, six spokes. All right. If you guys see one, holler it out. Just uh, say uh, what number you think it is. I'm looking. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to look weird, but that's the only one I can find so far that has a six. And yes, I just bought it without consulting the rest of the directory. There's another sex. I mean, it's. That's the best one. We did it. Let's go put those wheels together. here and balance them.
All right, we're doing well. Doing well, my friends. Doing well. Okay, so. Yeah, we may cringe for a few minutes when we put these on. But, like I said, it's the only rims that match the design of all the vehicles that we sell on Google. Okay? So, just, you've been warned. Ah, dang it, I don't want to take it off. Okay, there's something going on behind it that's not allowing me to fully place. No, I already bought that. I already bought that. We could have put the te the brakes on if we didn't have that. What are we missing? Okay. What do you need, baby? Come on, talk to me. I put the absorber on. Hmm. 
Hmm. No. I already bought that. That's, like I said, I couldn't put the brakes on without that. Let's go over on the other side. Maybe we'll have an answer. I'm as zoomed in as tight as I can get. The, the cover is on. Uh, you know, the cap is on. Um... That's in, that's on. I feel like there's something missing, but I just don't know what. I know this list we're looking at right now, for one thing, is not fully complete. And I 110% get that. I'm just trying to figure out here on the front what's going on with the wheels. Why we can't put the tires on yet. Brake calipers? I could be for the back. Oh, chat. I don't remember putting... I'll check on the inner tie rods. I think that might be what it is. But Jack, guess what I forgot to put on? Chat! I told you it's gonna happen! Where's my where's my sounders? Where's my sounders? You could probably beat me to it and buy it with your plumb bobs. <laughs> oh, fill the sticks! <laughs> Hey, at least look at this. Look at it in this way, chat. We don't have the drive shaft on. We don't have the gearbox on. The only thing that would be that needs to be done is the inner tie rods, and we can still take it off. Because I have yet to buy that gearbox V6. So I'm not like out of the woods totally yet. But why doesn't it not? Why does it not say that when we pull it off the engine block? Hey, by the way, where's your oil pan? I don't even know. Did we even see an oil filter on that? Like some hour ago or when we were working on the engine block? I thought we had it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. All right, inner tie rod. Skin's getting dry again. And it's probably related to the weather changes that we are having today. In fact, uh, when I go on break here, 
Uh, in about maybe an hour and a half, I'll uh, step outside and maybe see how cold it is, how icy it is still out there. We've had some accidents this morning, for sure. I noticed that. My skin is definitely just real dry today. Okay. Yeah, let's look at the inner tie rod. Are those in the uh, performance ones, just by curious? Or are they just more in the main shop? I'm trying to save myself. Okay. Not save myself money, but get more money back in return. Now we can put the tire on. Now we can put the tire on. We're going to like it or not. Let's find out. All right. Hold on a second. Let me go over here to the other part of the shop here and stare back at that. Okay, chats, insiders, uh, voice for you, uh, regular others, use yay or nay. Do you like this or not? I'm trying to figure this out. It's hard to say on the um, back tires because I have yet to start working on the back side of the vehicle. Let me put this one on. Hold on. And then we'll look at it from this angle. Give me a second. I need to make sure I'm doing right tire sizes. Hold on a second. Okay, 225 in the front, 245 in the back. Got it. All right, let's look over here. I don't know what the color of the vehicle is going to be yet, guys, so... Keep your mind open on that. Compare to that. Keep that in your mind for a second. Hold on a second. Let me switch over some scene stuff here on the uh, switcher. Uh, monitor feed. Let's go back over to Google. What do you think? Could it pass? I mean, that kind of compares with the vehicle that we have now, as far as color. Keep that in mind. Let me go back over to the uh, game here. What do you think? Now, we haven't taken it out outside, so, like I said, things may change when we take it out there and all that. Looking at it from the broadcast rig... Um, it's, 
interesting. To say the least. So, all right, let's continue working. Um, yeah, guess what we got to do. So let's do it now before we do anything. I swear that oil filter and oil pan. Oil pan will be on the bottom. You know one thing we didn't do? Chat. With this, I don't remember ever doing like the uh, pieces down here on the bottom. You guys? The rocker and rod caps. I don't remember doing that, do you? Nope. That's why we don't have an oil filter or a uh, oil pan. Let me see if there's one over in the other shop real quick. Just curious. Because it looks like a performance piece that could actually be used too. And maybe not. Nope. We're checking, you know? Trying to get some more money out of the, out of the vehicle.
It's fine. Don't even check. It's fine. Get back over there. Go. All right. Good news. Oil pump. The oil pan is in there. The tires on the front are good. Now I gotta work on the back side now. All right, let's see how I swing around like this. Wait a second. Don't put that fuel pump on. Don't put that fuel pump on. Because I think I didn't cross it against the other one. I didn't take it through here. Gives you a little bit more uh, performance by doing it this way. It may cost you a little bit more, but in the end, the resale value will be uh, one and a half times more better on that.
Okay. Alright. Now. I never used it. I've never done anything with a cross member like this, so. It's going to be a little interesting to put together. I suspect we're looking at mares, so let's do two, two, one, two, Hey guys, um, I'm going to have to run at a restroom. I hate to do this to you guys, but I've been drinking a lot. And it is close to our halftime break anyhow. So, why don't we do this. Um, let's do a quick save where we are. Nothing's going to go bad while we do that. And, uh, yeah, we can slide out on that for just a minute. All right. Uh, pretzel. We'll put you a stop to that. We'll probably uh, switch over to Synthwave on the other side. Uh, but why don't you guys uh, grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, and um, do all that good, you know, health stuff to keep you guys all good in tip-top shape. And we'll be back after break. Um and we will continue working on this vehicle. I suspect um, we'll be done with it in about the, the next 90 minutes um, after we get back. Because uh, once we get the, um, the back stuff done, the exhaust uh, put together, the drive shaft, the gearbox put together, we'll work on the accessories, the, uh, the windshields, the doors, headlights, all the good stuff. You know, the fine detailed stuff. Well, of course, you know, put that all together. And um, we'll go through the performances. Um, paint shop area. And get it ready for selling. And, of course, then we'll sell it out. And before we get off the night uh, here. Um, or at least this afternoon. I say it the night. Um just because of being on. Um, we will find out what round four vehicles we'll be doing. We'll be doing, like I said, our clunker vehicle first, and then, of course, our modern vehicle next. So um, we'll be looking forward to uh, heading up the junkyard and the auction block ourselves uh, later today. So meanwhile, it's break time. You know the drill. I'll see you on the other side. You're watching Simple Live. Come on back. While the games guru is working hard every day for reaching that Twitch affiliate milestone, your support can go a long way with SimWorld's all-new four-tier memberships on Patreon in the meantime. A few of the bonuses from each tier consist of playing games with Nathaniel live on Twitch, voice chatting with Nathaniel during the broadcast, getting instant Twitch VIP access, plus shaping the state of the Sim world before the public tease is set in July and December, and much more not seen or heard here. By joining the Patreon membership program, you will be rewarded for the support you give to SimWorld. You can also support SimWorld by way of the marketplace. This is where you can get t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tank tops, phone cases, drink sets, while of course representing SimWorld. Whether you want to support one of the fictional businesses from our game series, SimWorld in general, or you want to wear swag from our Sims Legacy Story and Minecraft Adventures, you can get that gear from our marketplaces. If you want to support SimWorld by joining the four tier membership, or from the marketplace. Use these commands seen on screen now in the live chat for more information.
It is now time for everyone in the sound of my voice to stand up, stretch your arms and legs, grab a drink or small snack, and use the restroom. SimWorld Live comes right back with more programming in 10 minutes, exclusively on SimWorld Game Vision.
Amusing, fun, and challenging entertainment since 2013 and still going strong. You are watching SimWorld Game Vision. We are your home for all things simulation. Now, coming at you from the SimWorld Game Vision Broadcast Center in Topeka, this is SimWorld Live with your games guru, Nathaniel Jackson. Take it away, Nathaniel. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you had a good stretch break, a little lunch break yourselves as well, and we're ready to get back finishing our uh, 2002 Nissan 350Z. Of course, uh, hey, come at me if you want to say something bad about the gold rims, but uh, it's the only thing we can find incomparable to some of the photos that we found. So we'll be getting into the uh, back half here uh, as we're continuing kind of shape up that so we're working on the uh the um cross member parts of that the sway bar um and then of course we'll work on the brakes next and uh then we'll work on exhaust leading up to the drive shaft and of course the gearbox and that'll pretty much be uh everything that we involve on the bottom side of the whole vehicle we'll be able to actually set it down back on the ground um, and we'll do all the fluid stuff that we need to in the engines, uh, oil, uh, power steering fluid, windshield fluid, brakes, and, uh, then we can get into accessories. So, um, and then of course, like I said a little bit ago, um, for those folks that are just joining in that are new, um, we are going to be working on gathering our, um, once we do get this vehicle, uh, back on the auction block and sold, uh, we are going to plan on getting our fourth round of modern and clucker vehicles uh, for our restoration and rebuild project. Uh, we've gone so far. Um, when we started this whole project uh, back when we had Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, and we still have that installed. We still have that installed. We can go back over there and do some of those vehicles at any time. Uh, we have the 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle and the 1966 Ford Mustang. That was our first ever um, vehicles that we'd done. And then we turned around and then uh, we started our second round of vehicles. And we were having little issues and, you know, we understood because, you know, um, the, ga the game was new to us. And then, of course, there were some bugs that they had to work out. So we started uh, our second round of vehicles, which was the 1956 Plymouth Fury and the 2001 Lamborghini Diablo. And so those are the ones that we finished up um, not too long ago. And then round three, uh, we just finished last episode, uh, my dad's. First ever 1970 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. And by the way, he loved that. Um, I'm not saying anything in case someone's watching, but there's a uh, GIFT going to him with the uh, work that we did here on the air. So I'm going to say uh, very quiet on that right now. Insiders, I'm looking right at you. Um, and then, of course, the uh, one we're working on now, the Nissan 350Z. So, And, um, again, uh, for those folks that were not with me yesterday during Surviving Mars, um, because of the absence of my broadcast on Sunday, uh, we are doing Police Simulator Patrol Officers Episode 2 tomorrow, on my Saturday, uh, your Wednesday, uh, with Stream Readers. And... As we discussed at the top of the show, yes, there is a Stream Raiders event, but it's only for, like, community versus community. It's not something we can get ourselves into because it'd be like me uh, and my community of SimWorld, which is not really that strong and big, and taking that against Raj and Hermie of We All Play Cast and uh, just being defeated. So they would basically win all the, the swag uh, that went with that draw and not me. So, but we'll still do the Olympia event tomorrow. So we are going to switch over to test South wave now, since we are on the uh, back half hour or not back half hour, but the back half of our programming. 
Um, so we'll definitely be getting ourselves underway with that right now. And uh, we'll see what we get ourselves into as far as some good productivity programming. I think right now we're in a process of ready to buy things. Because we've pretty much earmarked all of the stuff that we need to buy. So let's go ahead and get uh, everything in order here. We need two of these. Hold on a second. How many do we need on that one? Two? Okay, two of everything except for the sway bar. All right. Did I already just... Okay. All right. I just didn't clear it off the list. Got it. Got it. Got it. Smart move to check my work on myself. All right. So clear that one. And then we'll go with this one. Oh, yeah, this is the one we need all that funny business stuff. The wishbone, I call it. Um, I bought two of those, right? I think I did. Yep. Okay. So we can clear that off the sh shopping list. And then I need one of these. And then I need two of these. All right, let's go over here to the uh, wishbone apparatus. I don't have the necessary parts. Explain. I thought I did. Shop Exorber A. What else do you need?
great sucker dash. Boy, I wish I thought of that. <clears throat> I thought yeah, it was a wishbone. That's why I bought all that stuff. All right, hold on. So, now I'm all flustered. We got four more left. I know we had plenty more of those. Hold on a second. him out oh man more than a dozen okay all right i said it was going to take us a dozen to get through this vehicle on uh rubber bushings so uh what do you say another Six, I'm going to order. I think the big, the small ones are fine. Well, we now know it's 18. one I'll do two because I don't know exactly where I went there's one
Okay. Um, Okay, I don't want to do anything with the wheels, you know, for like brakes and all that yet. I want to still work on this cross member uh, suspension system. That's it. That's all. Okay. I thought I had more that I put in there. Which was supposed to have been part of the wishbone. I guess we'll use it here. So I saved myself a little. Time on that. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I already had three. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm looking at the inventory and thinking, you're going to buy more? I bet you're in about five minutes. very complex um, suspension. I have never seen this type of style where it involves these kind of complex pieces. Now, this is how modern vehicles <clears throat> are to be going forward. It's going to be interesting. Of course, this is the first 
No, I'll take that back. I would say this is the first uh, of our vehicle uh, in the 20th century, and it's not. Because we have the Lamborghini, uh, which is a 2001. And then, of course, this is a 2002 model. Okay, now we can get to the real fun part of this build, which is the uh, wheels and such. So I'm going to do two of those. Two of those. I think we've already bought that. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen him on uh, Twitch and almost a year wow coming out of retirement Stefan uh, no friend okay Did I put that on my shopping list? Nope. You could do ventilated discs on those. Even though it says it doesn't recall, uh, call for ventilated discs, you can um, do that. Didn't I just go down that side? Oh, yeah, I did. I was just trying to do this side now. Get the hub on. And that on. Okay. Again, same pipe of discs uh, that we did earlier. So we'll do this. Aw, it's the instrumental, but it's well worth it. L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E. I, it's hard to do it when it's just instrumental because 
Let's just say this. Hermia is better at it than I am. Okay, uh, we don't need the shoe or the cylinder, so that's a good thing for this. Off cue there. Get close, though. I was getting close. Did I just buy those? I know I did. There it is. Rear drive axle. I know. I'll put that in there. Uh-oh. I better find out which gun. Regular. Hang on. Should we do it both sides? All right, let's put them on.
Okay. Before we could even put the drive shaft in. We've got to go by our biggest gearbox. And then the front exhaust pipes. So both of those will come from the performance shops now. No, I'm surprised that's not there. Maybe it's in the electronics. No? Okay, that's a shock. I am in the right spot, right? Nope. It's going to be the gearbox shop, which I rarely go to, except for gearboxes. It's like custom transmission. Um, it's a business that we have here in town that um, specializes in just gearboxes. Okay. And then we know the performance stuff will come from here. Okay, can I say something right out of the show? And I'm speaking on behalf of my dad, who I know is incapable of talking right now. We would never, ever, in our existence of our shop, put chrome near the head of an engine. No way. Now, yeah, we would make we might do something at the end like chrome tips, um, you know, make it look cool and all that for the back of your vehicle. But down here, no, never. The most we'll do is aluminum tubing. Whether we get it from uh, one of our retailer uh, places of Allied Exhaust. Uh, or advanced auto or something like that. Yeah, that's about all we will do. If we do something where it's brought in to speed up time. But most likely, we'll do it in-house and we will use our own bending equipment. But it will not be chrome. Yeesh. I, let's just say... I want to make sure that this vehicle, just for the exhaust alone, is charged four times the price. I don't even want to know what the mufflers are going to look like. I think there's even cats in here. Yeah, cats. That, that alone... But it is what it is. Let me see the exhaust work. Because I'm curious. Can you flip it around? Oh, 
Oh my. It's rare that I see double mufflers on a vehicle. Rare. Um. It's been a while since I was down in the shop. But the last time I was there, someone came up. And it was a brand new vehicle, a less than like five years old. And they totally wanted to totally do chrome exhaust. Um, let's just say, come back over to chat for just a second. Let's just say that they wanted, and we told them. Both me and my dad told him, look, we are not allowed to touch things that are, you know, younger than 10 years old. Because, you know, it breaks your vehicle's warranty. And it will break your vehicle's warranty. I don't remember how the outcome happened with this kid. And I didn't know him. Um, he was just like I said, a walk-in that came into the shop. And what I can remember is that he... He totally wanted it. <sighs> so, I think, bottom line, both me and Dad said no. Because he, he really wanted a full out. I think, I don't know if it was a full out, like, performance system, like Magnaflow or Flowmaster uh, exhaust. Or he wanted, like, like a beauty package, uh, which is what we are you, you're seeing here on this game, where it's chrome exhaust from the head of the engine all the way back out to the uh, bumper. Which, by the way, I will tell you, in the weather that we're having this winter, Any vehicle that has that kind of the beauty package, I can guarantee you'll be seeing my my uh, dad's employees uh, probably in April because all that stuff, all the creosote, uh, or the, not the creosote, but the um, calcite stuff that they spray out on the roads for the ice, it will just eat through your exhaust. I promise you. And that's where we get our business. And the same with aluminum. Because we'll put, we'll, we'll do someone's vehicle. In the summer, I mean, that's when we're, of course, the busiest. And uh, sometimes it's just a full package. They'll come back in a, a year later and we'll be like, well, what did I do wrong? And we just shake our heads laughing, but we charge them full price and send them on their way. Same thing. But anyhow, that's my um, taking on it. And I'm surprised with all that moving around there on the scenes and such. There wasn't any drop frames. So maybe OBS did fix up their problem. But anyway, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, my take on exhaust work and beauty package. Like I said, beauty package being this. Okay, a chrome-plated catalytic converter. If that doesn't scream... Yeah. Um... Oh, we, and yeah, don't forget, we get all the time, um, 
people come in and say, well, our cat's been stolen. I'm like, all right, we'll put one on. Best of luck out there. So we know about it. We know about it. It's not pretty. Now, see what I'm talking about? See that chrome tip? That's something we would do. We do aluminum stuff from that point all the way back to the front. But then we'd put a chrome tip on. Because that's just what we would do to spice it up for you guys. But not a full beauty package. It is rare that we do that. And when we do, it's like... <sighs> We know. We always say we'll be. They'll be back in five months. So, but we do it. It's the way we do business. Thank goodness our, my dad and I shop's not in California. I mean, there's so many regulations in California. It's... Yeesh. Okay. You want to... Dry shafts next for us. And then we're done for underneath all of our work there. And even the, uh, can't tell if it's aluminum or chrome. I bet it's aluminum. Just by the look of it. All right. The good news is that we can now pull her all the way down to the ground. So the next thing we're going to be doing um, is in the front part of the engine, we'll go ahead and do all the fluids like oil, um, power steering, brakes, whistle washer fluids. Um, and then from there, we get to start putting the body parts on like the windshield, the doors. Um, the interior and then before we do any of the rest of the stuff we'll take it uh before we even paint it car wash it and all that we'll take it over to our performance rooms test them out just to make sure our performances performance uh parts are all you know synchronized and working um 
with each other. And then, like I said, we'll do the car wash and then the paint room, and then we'll send it off to the auction block. Might take a photo. May take a photo or two. Not as crazy as I did with my dad's vehicle from last episode. So. All right. your antifreeze there. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. And let's go for two. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two and a half. Yeah, that's all right. It's not our car. I can gauge it a little bit better, but that works. Okay. All the vehicle fluids are in. Um, okay. Now we can start doing the uh, details on the body. This is considered as a Ribson. How many miles does this baby have on it? 133,000? Not too shab, not too shab. I like how it uh, tells you what you have in house. Okay, pretty much we want one of everything. But, let me make sure before I do that, because I'm selling this for a high dollar. Oh, the instrumental version. Oh, 
I'll get license plates in a minute. We actually did find out uh, with the latest patch that they uh, came out with. Uh, you can, if this is not your personal vehicle, um, you can leave your license uh, plates blank now, which is cool, especially for, you know, selling things. Okay. Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah. I know most of it, I probably don't. So let's go ahead and go to the body workshop now. Um, we'll just pick up everything that we need. We may already have it on this vehicle, but better to be safe than sorry than having to come back to the shop here and it's not like I can't sell it much, sell it for face value Oh, it does kind of have a spoiler on it. I didn't realize that. And that's probably because I did it from the performance side of the shop. Guitar! We'll probably tint the uh, windows. Everything's on except the license plates. Oh, wait. What's that bad number? Oh. See what I'm talking about? The chrome tips. That's what I'm talking about. But if you want the whole beauty package, like I said, see in five months. What is that? That's an interesting little air scoop. All right, license plates. Pretty generic ones, like I said. We'll do it from our studio location. Yeah, so you can now buy a blank or you can customize it if you choose. Since they're going back on the auction block. And 
Here we go. Uh, interior. Yes, interior. What is this we we got? Um why don't we temporarily let's see. Back it out into the parking lot for a minute. And then I can see what we need to. Look at maybe changing the scoop, maybe or um, the spoiler. All right, let's get all this. Uh, nothing too fancy. No tip particular type. C5, leather A. Keep that in mind for a sec. I'm going to look, see if there's anything that, um, we find that has C5 on it. Okay. There's fabric A on the very bottom. Um, what do you think, chat? What kind of vehicle color would you like to see as far as seats? We have fabric. We have leather. Um... Again, remember, I, we're not keeping this. We're selling it right on, back on the auction block. So if this was your vehicle that you're buying out at the auction, what color of seat would you want? I would say, since there's no response yet in chat, and I know we have a 15 second delay, so um, as far as non-insiders. Okay, it's been about 15 seconds. Um, I would say I would put in leather A. Only because I like the dual, uh, the duo tone color. Um, 
Now, saying that, I could still get away with it with doing fabric. Because fabric will last longer than leather. Okay. This is not my vehicle, like I said, and I don't plan on keeping it, but I want to get the highest amount of value on this thing I'm putting a uh, most expensive spoiler out there on the market on board I guess we could do an air scoop on that too Before we take it to the body shop, let's uh, run it over to the performance shops. Uh, first run it to the uh, test path. I hate that sound. I hate this notification. I know something's wrong and I don't want to know what. What could it be? What's missing? Okay. Listen up, chat. You see something? Yell it. I'm gonna, I'll probably be seeing it myself first, but we'll have to mark it. What's missing? Anything that doesn't have a 100% on it. And pray that it's not the engine block.
Okay. This actually, these three things are easily to be done. One could be done on with the uh, vehicle up in the air. The other two, I don't know whereabouts that goes, but we'll find out. I hope that's not on the engine block, but I don't think it is. So, let's go ahead and take you back to the garage. There they are. And what was the next one? Radiate something with the radiator fan. Okay. Now, I don't know which fan I'm needing. Of course, I won't know until I buy this. Yeah, I know. You're just saying fan, right? Okay, just this. Okay, just a standard fan. Okay. All right. Those two are done. The next one I know I could put up. It's right by the gearbox. gearbox most likely you guys see where it would be I'm not seeing it of course I could mark it on the thing and it would highlight it or glow it I should say Right there.
No, uh, probably electronics, not performance. Okay. That's it as far as buying things for this vehicle. Okay, what else do I have that I, um, let's drop this and then I'll look. Well, we walked away with 13 rubber bushings and uh, eight small rubber bushings, which is not too shabby. And yes, I know we did have some extra stuff, so. All right, now that we have everything ready, we can take this vehicle over to our test path. And I will head over there with it. Let's see, that's not my test room. Test room's gonna be over here. Hello, guys. Yes, set it up. Not too shabby. And we know everything would work. Um, whenever you sell a vehicle, um, I know it's probably best to do something like that. That way it shows the new buyer, hey, you really kind of ran through a, a rigorous testing on this. So, next item we want to do... is we're going to take it over here to the uh, dyno testing area. There's the paint bay where we'll be in here in just a bit. All right. 
this is where we'll be able to test the horsepower. This is really where you get your um, endurance testing for your performance. Good. That's going to scream uh, a really good increase. So, uh, the only thing we have to do now is we'll drive this over here to the car washer real quickly. And then off to the um, paint bay. little suds clean this up from all of our work on the garage and then of course we'll move it over to the paint bay now let's go that direction actually paint it a couple things we want to do let's look Oop, hold on a second okay um let's find out what Just wait, just wait. Shh! This number will jump after we've hated it. And we still got to uh, tint the windows. Okay. <sighs> there is a couple of variants. Right now, the factory color is what we have on it right now, which is blue. There is not that many colors out there. If you look at today's vehicles that are not variant in variety you'll find very little yellow orange red blue because right now all the colors we are got is a white a black a taupe and a beige which i think taupe and beige are almost similar and then of course silver those are the only colors we got anymore I would say we're going to do something a little fun as uh, a whole community here. Hold on a second. Let's go to look at my switcher here. I better move my hand lotion or I'm going to have some major problems. Um, let's do this and go, I have a website that I have used a long time ago for various projects. It's called Random Color Picker. Um...
And basically what it's going to do, it's going to just do any color it thinks of. The first color that it comes to, we're going to take the color codes, and that's the color of the car. Are you ready? There it is. I will copy that information, and that will be the color. Okay. Now, before we do this, hold on a second. Let me go back over to Chrome. And let's see. Let's go to Advanced Search. And what I'm going to do is it's going to give me a, a mix of numbers. Now remember, I've I've done graphic design for a long time. Um, so these are the colors that you would need to give for if you're doing any type of project. Um, there is I don't know if this tool that you're seeing here on screen sometimes will tell you like your stitching color if you're doing like uh, embroidery that will actually match it. Um, stuff like that. So what I want to do, since we are using, uh, paint in Carmack here, 122, 162, and 246. Okay. We'll figure out the metalness and roughness and clear coat in a minute. I just want to get the actual. Oh, you're you HSB. Uh, yeah, we could do that. I think I have HSB on that level on that sheet that we looked up. Uh, well, you have. Hue, saturation, value, hue, saturation, lightness. So what I think I want to do, let me write down both of those. And we'll try to match that. I bet you guys were worried you were going to get a pink car. I bet you were. <laughs> I bet you were. You're like, oh, please, let the gods of this website don't give me a pink car. <laughs> uh, I heard you guys. I heard you. I can, I can, I can read the chat without even seeing the chat. Ninety six, and then eighty seventy two. All right. Okay. Two tw can we type this in? Can we type in these numbers? No. But we'll get it as close as approximately as we can. Let's go 50... Ninety six. Let's 
not a bad color, is it? And it makes the wheel, the rims pop out. Um, I don't want to do any like library type things, but as far as the material, Pearl's not a bad look, is it? Oops, hold on. Gloss isn't bad. I don't really want to do chrome. Matte chameleon's not bad. Hmm. I would go for a chameleon. Well, there it is. Not too shabby. I like the color. It does have a little pink look to it, but maybe that's just my monitors. I like it. Let's go tint the uh, windows. I think that might increase the value. You're like, why am I back here? I thought I was done. Uh, you're almost done, my friend. You're almost done. Okay. Can I orbit my camera or anything? No.
Okay. Hang on here with the tent and I'll be right back. I'm going to look here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Um... Let's move it outside. Oh, we're already in number two. There she is. Um. I like it. I think we did a pretty nice job on it. Well, let's do a couple things. Um, So, there's the uh, vehicle, fully finished, and now, let's take a look at everything about it, okay? There's uh, where we walk away. Uh, the frame is still in good condition at 83%. Um, there is our measured details from the dino office so you kind of basically can see we really you know cranked it up and uh made it look good and if you want to see the parts again everything's fine so we walk away we bought the vehicle um $24,049, okay? With the parts, the body condition of, you know, upgrading it, and then, of course, putting the performance parts in it, and then the condition, we could sell this baby at $98,988, which is a profit <laughs> I know. Can you believe it? Three times the price. Three times the price. That's remarkable. Actually, I'm going to take a... Well, no, that's fine. That, that'll work. So, yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? So, for that, what I want to do is, it's a remarkable GG and Pog Champs into Jeff for that. So, we'll go ahead and sell that off. And, uh, let's see, we got about uh, a little over two hours of time. Um, probably won't use that entire time. What we'll go do now is we'll head out to um and i don't have my new notebook with the uh the information yet but what i could do right now is let me write round four uh clunker and modern. 
So we'll go out, start looking for a new two new vehicles for round four. And we'll go use our website that we found, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, or a couple, not weeks ago, uh, a couple of episodes ago, uh, 12 or 13. Let's see, what is this episode? Hold on a second. This is episode 16. By the way, we're doing excellent. No drop frames since the change on OBS. I'm, I'm really pleased. You guys got my trust back. And so far, we haven't crashed. Even though I don't have a wood desk. It's going to be what it is. Thank goodness we're still alive. Uh, but yeah, let's go find a couple new vehicles for round four. And look up what these vehicles are. And then that will be kind of where we end the day. Um, so, I need to see the map. Do we want to do, okay, now, that Nissan that we just got done today with came from a barn. I don't know if I want to do another barn one. Let's try the junkyard. Now, as I did tell you at the top of our program today, they did come out with uh, several new varieties of vehicles that you can now find not only at the auction, but also at the junkyard. So, definitely we're going to head, head out and do that. You ready to derp around and look? Looks like they kind of, they take the fun out of it. They're putting spots on, oh no wait, that's just my thing. I was like, there's putting little things out there where the vehicles are now. I'm like, no, let's, let's, let's do our own little hunting around. Again, we're not looking for parts or anything like that. Let's do the edges and then we'll... We'll go there. Junk. I don't want to search junk. I know it's a junkyard. Any of these cars? Props, mostly. Well, wait, wait. I doubt it. Anything out of that. What do we got here? It kind of looks like the um, Fury that we finished. So, we're not going to repeat that.
Don't know anything about the frame, which is a concern. 221,000 miles. Hmm. Hmm. Remind you, it's uh, under this overhang. We might come back and look at that. Let's see what else we got. I know we saw that fury. Looks like what we just got finished with. No. I think we made it around full circle. Um, what do you say? That looks like a good uh, opportunity. We're back to look at you, buddy. Let me see some stats on you again. <sighs> I would say just by looking at it, I know they say it's a 65. We'll actually look at the real website here in a minute. Um... I don't want to go to another junkyard, but I think this is a pretty good, pretty good find. Um, what do you think? I think it, uh, could do some work. It looks like it was uh, a souped up vehicle at one point. Now, when we do take all these vehicles home today, um, let's see, it's 2.30. Probably won't be um, unstrapping everything today. Um, we'll unstrapple everything. Uh, unstrap, you know, get it stripped down to the frame and everything. Um, on the next episode. But I like the idea of this, um, classic little baby. We'll find out what it is. Let's go and sit it. Let's go and buy it. We know it needs a lot of love. We do know that. We do have a lot of engine options. We'd be buying this thing at uh, $9,328. And this is not one that would go back on an auction block. This would be one that'd go in our parking garage. I'm buying it. We'll find out what it is when we get it home. Uh, put yourself in a garage and I'll see you there, my friend. Alright, let's
let's go ahead and put take her to the uh, car wash. Just to clean it, you know, clean up the dirt that it has from sitting there in the junkyard. And then we'll put it back in the garage. We'll put it in the garage. See what we're kind of working with here. It needs some TLC, but I think we can uh, really do something with it. Um, let's find out what this is. Luxor Bowen, 1965. Let me go to our uh, website. Let me go over to scene modes here. And uh, let's find out. Um, which one was that? Luxor Bowen. Okay. Actually, it was the Luxor Bowen Road Cruiser. Okay. Ooh, catalytic devel coupe. So, 1965 Cadillac Devel. Drum brakes. Okay, it's got two mufflers on both uh, front, middle, and rear, which is common more in the modern than there is in the older ones. Shh. We're doing our own colors. Remember. Hmm. This will be a fun little, a little, you know, thing. So let's go and send you to Bay One. And I'll see you on the next episode. And then we have one more shop, one more stop to go for is we got to head out to the auction to get a modern vehicle now. Okay. Let's go to the uh, modern one. All right.
Hmm. We never done a truck before, have we? No. Hmm. Let's see its condition. Shabby, I'll do man. This is more what looks like a uh, I don't want to say Ford, but maybe it is. What's some details on it? 2011, well, let's see. Let's go back to that website that we have. That was a Salem. Earthquake. So it's been around. Yeah, the 12th generation of the Ford F-Series in 2009. But it's interesting because they're saying now it looks like the Nissan Titan. So it's a mix. It depends on what you want to consider it as, guys. What do you want to say it is? Based on this, based on what you see on the screen, what do you think our vehicle is? Um, it's been around. The front looks like a Nissan. The body itself looks like a Ford. But the doors make it look like a Chevrolet. Uh, what was it that one they said? 2009. I'm going to say it's 2009 Ford F Series. I really am. I'm going to call it. Wow. We've gone through two that we, okay, we started in 2001. Then we went to 2002. We just got that done today. Now we're going to 2009. I'll be interested to see what we could do with this truck. Because we never worked on a truck. Now, does this look like more of a 250 or a 350 vehicle?
58,408 miles. So it's a relatively young vehicle. We do have a swap option. Well, let's go for it. Let's bot let's uh bid on it. Ready? Let's go. Do you guys remember my starting price? Well, definitely below 30, I think. My word! <laughs> oh my! I think we started what around uh, thirty something. No, we started at twelve. Oh my! We started at twelve thousand dollars, and I just paid seventy six. <laughs> Yay! We have got to, we've got to triple that. I, I, I'm going to write that down just for a second. Original. Uh, 12665. Auction. Uh, by... 76265. We have, like I said, bust our butts on this one. Let's take it to the garage. Oh, we're done. We don't have the money. Not now. All right, let me uh, bring it back here to the car wash, get it washed up. I think they do wash it themselves at the auction house. It's not a bad car. I'm definitely taking that license plate off. Take you in the back, get your car washed, and then I'll put you in the garage. Here's our vehicles for round four, kids. Too bad I don't have a wide angle lens. But, uh, the 1965 Cadillac DeVal Coupe 
which we rescued from the uh, junkyard. And then, of course, <laughs> one we are going to hopefully put a lot more, more money in than 76000 That uh, 2009 Ford F-Series, even though contemplation, it does have different model looks on it. So, those are the vehicles we'll be working on, uh, starting with uh, episode 17 of Car Mechanic Simulator here on the uh, broadcast channel, um, which right now won't be happening until week four. No, not week four. Week one, yeah. Um, Monday of week one, it's hard to see with the studio lights on the calendar there. Um, so, yeah, week one. So, they'll be coming up in about uh, two, three weeks, I think. We'll start with the uh, Cadillac. Well, basically, both vehicles will be stripped down. Everything taken out, sold for value, and then... Uh, We'll start on the Cadillac, uh, get that done, and that might all be in one episode. And then episode 18, if I look into my chat here, uh, yeah, episode 18, maybe on the Ford. So, not too shabby. So, all right. All right. I'll do it. Do an exit game. Um, those screenshots, by the way, I took from today. Um, well, really, I didn't really take any screenshots, I guess, as per se, is what we're doing. Um, I guess I could have taken some of those screenshots in a garage, but I didn't really think about it. But I do have the details on our Nissan, so I'll post that out on Twitter um, and Discord when we get off the air here. Um... Remind me later, I'll do that. Thanks, Steam, for asking me. All right, for you guys. Thank you, Pretzel, for your wonderful tunes tonight. We did have a couple good, good uh, cat jams in there, especially from Prism. That was fun. Um, before I do get ourselves out of here, let me... Um, do a couple things here. Let's drop the Chiron. Put my pencil away before I stab myself in the arm by accident. You don't want that to happen. Uh, let's find out. Um, again, I, I, I kind of did talk about this at the top of the program one more time. Tomorrow, even though it is my Saturday and uh, your Wednesday, I will be back here with you guys uh, doing Police Simulator Patrol Officers Episode 2 because of not bringing it to you guys on Sunday. Uh, so with that absence, uh, I'll be bringing it to you tomorrow. Plus, a bonus day of Stream Raiders will happen tomorrow. So if you're interested in uh, getting on some uh, Stream Raider battles, um, we'll be doing that tomorrow. We'll have, uh, I think, a boss battle coming up tomorrow and uh we'll be getting into that so um we'll be diving into that uh itinerary uh for tomorrow so um i think i even while i was so live with you guys 
let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That would be day three. Yep, there we go. That's tomorrow. Don't look at the date, but that's tomorrow. I knew I still had it in the Chiron on the hyperdeck. So that's tomorrow's plan. And um, we'll start on time yeah, for sure. But before we do get ourselves out of here, um, let's talk about the rest of the schedule. Um, when we start back our schedule on Friday, we'll be doing Minecraft Adventures for Friday and Saturday. In fact, I'm going to be working uh, probably a little bit of tonight during We All Play Cast's uh, run with their doing modded, of course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish building our uh, big storage room and house. So I'll be doing that while uh, listening in and uh, lurking in. Well, I don't like to use the word lurk. Um, shadow watching per se, in the chat, so I'll be doing that tonight, uh, working on that, but uh, we'll be back Friday and Saturday, we'll do some mining for cinnamon buns, uh, definitely, and then of course, uh, maybe Saturday, the end, and Dragon Battle, for sure, in City Searching, probably, and then we'll start the very preliminary build of the uh, Interman Farm. Because I know it won't be built all on uh, Saturday for sure. And then, of course, yes, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. You're not seeing things wrong there. We are doing a wall-to-wall -wall playthrough of Planet Zoo for three days straight. Um, originally, we were bringing you guys that Ranch Simulator a game series that uh, we voted on in December. We had some issues with that, and we made an executive decision to drop that. Uh, in its place, Planet Zoo is getting more airtime. So, yeah, you're going to see wall to wall Planet Zoo for three days straight, Sunday through Tuesday. Um, 1 p.m. Sunday, 11 a.m. Monday and Tuesday. And, of course, on Sunday, we also will be getting into Stream Raiders. So, it's kind of like uh, Stream Raiders tomorrow, Stream Raiders on Saturday, Stream Raiders on Sunday. It's going to be fun, for sure. But, as we do uh, get ourselves out of here for today, uh, I do want to thank everybody for being a part of today's show. Um, I think what we are going to do as we get ourselves out, um, how would you like to see The Sims Cast Away? It's a pretty fun, interesting game going on. Uh, my buddy uh, is doing that right now, so I think we should drop in on them. Have a little fun. I've never seen the actual gameplay myself, but it'll be fun to kind of lurk in there. So I'll be doing that while getting dinner. And then, of course, like I said, I'll be on Raj and Ernie's channel later tonight with We All Play Cast. Um, I maybe not be chatting a lot, but I'll be there and uh, working on Minecraft. But it is that time I do want to move on. And I want to thank all my Shadow Watchers for being there, being a the great support to the channel. And uh, we did, yeah, we broke the news on TwitchCon. How about that today? Uh, but we're not, unfortunately, going. Yeah, but that's next year. That's next year for sure. But uh, I'll keep you up to date on the latest news out of TwitchCon uh, as to who's going uh, for my VIP kind of colleague list. But, uh, no, not going to be doing it. So... Don't worry, insiders. Don't need to think about putting a, a thing together with fundraiser or anything like that. So. But as we do, of course, sign off. Speaking of insiders, if you want to learn more about it, there's the uh, details there in the chat. And then, of course, yesterday I forgot to give you guys the love call. There it is. So grab that as we do, of course, get ourselves out of here. Um, on behalf of the Team Sim World Production and Community Moderation staff and me, your games guru, I am Nathaniel Jackson. Have yourselves a great rest of your day, night, wherever you're, whatever you're watching this from. Stay with me shortly as we are, of course, sending our love on. And I'll catch you tomorrow on my Saturday. Police simulator, patrol officers, and um, stream readers. You don't want to miss it. It's all coming up your way here. Have a good day, guys. Susan, it's all yours.
Thank you, Nathaniel. As we leave you, Nathaniel wishes to thank the Coca-Cola Company, Nuts.com, and Bang Energy for supporting the game's gear with snacks and drinks for keeping Nathaniel on track and energized during SimWorld Live. Our legal team wants me to remind you all that today's broadcast see here on SimWorld Game Vision is under copyright protection and is shown just for you. Any distribution or media manipulation from today's broadcast is prohibited. It is now time if you have not done so already copy and use the love call from the chat as we send our love on. Please be advised that our talent may not be family friendly and please be respectful. On behalf of Nathaniel Jackson, your games bureau, I am Susan Cole for SimWorld Game Vision reminding you all to keep calm and happy simming. Before there were burglars, there were a ring.